Hi, my name is Courtney Turner and I'm an Applications Engineer with Yokogawa Test and Measurement. Today I'll be talking about the different memory types on the DL950 and how to pick the best data recording method for you. The DL950 Scope Quarter is a hybrid instrument that combines an oscilloscope and a portable data acquisition recorder that can be used to capture up to 160 synchronized channels of high-speed transient events and long-run trends. Because of these unique capabilities, this scope quarter has an oscilloscope mode and a recorder mode. This video is primarily going to focus on the ways to record in oscilloscope mode, but the easiest way to get started with basic data acquisition is to select Easy Recording from the application menu, which walks you through setup in recorder mode. Select your channels, how long to record, sampling interval, and basic channel settings. Press start and you're done. Before I go into the different ways to record data, it's important to talk about the settings that affect how fast and how long the DL950 will record. There are four main things to consider when trying to determine this. Record length, time per division, channel count, and sampling rate. The record length is how many data points the DL950 will acquire. This can be set from 10,000 points up to four gigapoints. The time per division determines how long the DL950 records. Multiply the time per division setting by 10, since there are 10 total divisions, to determine the total time. For example, one second per division is a 10 second recording. The sampling rate is how many data points the DL950 is taking per second. It's determined by dividing the display record length by 10 times the time per division. The number of channels you need to record affects how fast you can sample for how long. So this is something to take into consideration when planning your setup as well. The DL950 has several places to record to. These are the internal memory, solid state drive, flash memory, and PC storage through the IS8000 software. The internal memory comes standard with one gig of memory, but you can upgrade to four or eight gigs depending on how much data you need to store. A quick basic setup to save the data you want to the internal memory includes setting the record length, time for division, turning on the channels you need, selecting each channel sampling rate, and setting the trigger conditions. Press Start Stop to start the recording. Once the recording is finished, go to the Save menu to save the data in the format you want. This option is similar to an oscilloscope in that it streams data to an internal high-speed RAM. The data is cleared once the unit is turned off or another acquisition starts. This is the best option if you need to record at fast sampling rates up to 200 mega samples per second for several seconds or minutes. The 512 gigabyte internal solid state drive is a great option if you need to record for days or months at lower sampling rates. For example, you could record at two mega samples per second for five hours or one kilosample per second for 50 days using the SSD. To set this up, press the acquire button, turn SSD recording on, press the SSD recording setup, and set your time per division and record length. The 160 gigabyte flash acquisition memory could be the perfect option for you if you need sampling rates and recording times in between the internal memory and SSD recordings capabilities. For example, you can record up to 20 mega samples per second for 10 minutes or up to five hours at one mega sample per second. The setup is very similar to SSD recording. Select flash acquisition as the real time record option in the acquire menu and press the setup button. Select the time per division and record length. Once the recording is finished, you can transfer the data to a PC, SD card, or USB stick. By connecting the DL950 with our IS8000 software, data can be recorded directly into a PC storage in real time. For even faster speeds, the 10 gigabyte ethernet option allows up to 20 mega samples per second on eight channels. This is the best option for the longest recording time and it's hassle-free since you don't have to transfer the data from the DL950 to the PC. For more information on how to use this feature, please check out the video link in the description. While all of these methods allow you to record a lot of data for an extended period of time, there are also ways to avoid looking through hours of data by just capturing the data you need using our advanced triggers, real-time math, and power map functions. Dual capture is also a great option for capturing fast triggered events during a long recording. For even more information about choosing the best recording method for you, please contact us at tmi.yokogawa.com. Thank you for watching.